welcome if you're new via here be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel the topics that we're making the cut for today jdf soldier shot multiple times in jonestown bad man burned down police station red hills done killed by cops and several other updates so you know for sure we are gonna start off with the updates them so let's get right into it the 15 year old boy who is accused of accidentally shooting his six year old cousin while playing with an illegal firearm on monday afternoon was handed over to the freeport police station in montego bay st james for questioning last evening the juvenile was accompanied by his mother and his attorney henry mccurdy we have no further information from the police at this point we can't say nothing else mccurdy said jaden was shot in his yard in darling street Harmony Town, Savalamar, Westmoreland. The police reports are that about 2.30 p.m. on Monday, the six-year-old was among a group of children playing when an explosion was heard. Jadine was subsequently discovered lying in a pool of blood, suffering from gunshot wounds to the back. He was taken to the Savalamar Public General Hospital, where he was later pronounced dead. The youngster now in custody flee the scene. The juvenile left the scene harmed. Jadane's mother said that she was at a nearby shop when the incident unfolded. However, another relative told us this. Jadane and one of his little cousin was having a, a little cousin and we stopped them and tell him say, I go to sleep. So um me tell him say me go to sleep so if he stop in his when I lay down and I go to sleep, I hear one gunshot. I jump up and run outside. I go outside, I jump and I get up. And I look, I see my auntie run and come down. And say, Jaday is dead. Persons close to the family says the teen is an high school dropout and his father is a farmer. Since the start of 2021, 17 juveniles have been charged for major crimes. The allure, so to speak, uh, are, are the seemingly you know, glorification of, 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 of possession of firearm. You, you have absent systems of socialization. You know, the family is the first point. Um, you have, you know, children being exposed to, you know, criminal acts and being lured to, you know, participate in gang activities as well. And that's why the guidance is so important. A 15-year-old boy was arrested at a gas station store in Redell Square, St. Andrew, yesterday after a police team responded to an emergency call of a robbery in process. The Jamaica Constabulary Force reported that when they entered the building, they found the boy hiding beneath a cardboard box and he pointed an homemade shotgun in their direction. The police opened fire and the mirror fell. The police retrieved the weapon and the teen was taken to the Kingston Public Hospital for treatment and admitted in stable condition. After the scene was processed by both the JDF and the Independent Commission of Investigation, a 12-gauge cartridge was found along with a silver Taurus Magnum, 257 revolver containing live rounds and two empty casings. The arrest came hours after cops shot and killed a man while another escaped on Monday morning at the same location when they attempt to rob the store. The deceased has been identified as 23-year-old Shaquille Simpson, otherwise called Peewee, of Red Hills Road. A man wanted for murder in St. James, who was on Wednesday, May 12, featured on Jamaica Constabulary Force Wanted Wednesday campaign, was captured in St. Thomas early yesterday. He is 31-year-old Sanjay Arne Nelson, otherwise called Orandi. Nelson was wanted for murder of 23-year-old Lincoln in Bakwood District, Permenta Hill in St. James on September 13, 2016. Reports are that Lincoln was at home about 5.45 p.m. when he was attacked by armed men who opened fire hitting him several times. Investigation led to Nelson being identified as the wanted person in relation to the murder. Detectives assigned to the Central Police in Kingston have listed three men as wanted for serious criminal activities within the division. These men are heard to turn themselves in immediately. They are... 27-year-old Shanrick Nugent, otherwise called Dandan, whose last known address is Fleet Street, Kingston. 
He is wanted in connection with a murder on Fleet Street in 2014. He is about 6 feet tall, dark complexion and has a K tattoo on his neck. 29-year-old Ramon Coke, whose last known address is Foster Lane, Kingston. He is wanted in connection with a case with shooting with intent. He is of dark complexion and has a tug life tattooed on his upper arm. 28-year-old Everton McDonald, otherwise called Ever, whose last known address is East Street, Kingston. He is wanted in connection with a murder along Garge. He is wanted for murder along George's Lane, Kingston in 2020. He is of dark complexion, medium built, and has a scorpion tattoo on his right hand. A Jamaican Defense Force private is now nursing gunshot wounds after a joint police military team came under sustained gunfire in Jonestown in St. Andrew last night. Initial reports are that the private was a part of the team on patrol in Jonestown when on reaching the intersection of Septimus and Burn Street, they came under gunfire. The police and military personnel returned the fire and the men ran. When the shooting ended, it was discovered that the JDF private had been shot in his left ankle. He was taken to the hospital for treatment. While members of the police military team were at the hospital with their colleague, a man turned up with gunshot wounds to the right leg. He told the team that he is a 25-year-old conductor of Building 10 in near Arnett Gardens and claimed that he was shot on the building after he left his house to buy cigarettes. The injured man claimed that he was not aware of who had shot him and investigations are probing to determine if he was among the group of men who had fired at the police military team. It was reported that the Granville police station was set ablaze early this morning by unknown aliases. It is not yet clear if anybody has been hurt during the incident.